Don't touch my phone. Don't touch the phone. Talking. Let's walk over here. Walk, no. Walk over here. No. Wait, 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 ma'am. Do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Although our neighbors are thought to be kind individuals, what if it turns out that they are actually crazy? Here are cases when crazy neighbors get arrested, starting with this deranged woman. Turn around! No, I'm not. I'm talking. On April 30th, 2022, officers responded to a report of a naked man trying to break into his neighbor's home. But it quickly became apparent that the woman who had called 911 had not been telling the truth. The situation is kind of messy as the girl went upstairs and her neighbor didn't know what was going on. How you doing, man? Good. I guess she called the cops upstairs. Yeah, okay. To come out. Okay. Well, well, we have to call, we call them all the time. Yeah. Because they're always up there fighting, breaking. So I went up there because I'm down here with the kids and stuff. Yeah. And the kids are trying to sleep. Okay. So I went up there and I'm not yelling at you. Okay. Hey, please, 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 please. Mm. Okay. No, I want the She's trying to go look at her door. Right here. Look into her house. All I did, though, sir. All I did, I went up there. I knocked on the door. Stop interrupting him. <laughs> so this is what I did, sir. Because okay. I got a witness. We both went up yeah. there. We knocked on the door because they okay. are you in throwing sh breaking. Sh yeah. If you go upstairs into the apartment, you will see that they it's trash from them to yeah. break and stuff. So my fault. I mean, I ain't no, you're fine. So I knocked on the door. When I banged on the door, the door opens. Mm -hmm. She's sitting there cussing us out. I never stepped foot in the house. Yeah. Or none of that. Okay. I stood out on the on the on the little uh, steps thing. Where's your witness? Can you have her come out and I can talk to her? Maybe uh, we can. It's, it's a, it's a Oh, okay. Maybe we can resolve this for you. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened when you guys went up there? All we did is went up there, we knocked, all we did is kept talking, kept asking yeah. them, you know, quiet to him. Yeah. You know, we got keys down here. So we got down to right. The door was not locked. We opened the door. She wanted to keep continuously, kept saying, shut the f*** up. I will right. shoot you. I will stab you. That's literally all she kept yeah. All right. All right. We'll finish your shower. Man. <laughs> yeah. Go back inside. You're good. It's, it's a constant thing yeah. with her ass. She needs to go. Like she don't listen. She ain't gonna pay rent. What are you guys doing? Hijacking scooters? Ask them. That's it. That's it. The girl was uncooperative and did not follow the officer's instruction. <laughs> I'm not going to jail, bro. I didn't do a fucking thing wrong. I didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. Why are you taking me to jail? I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going down to jail. My heart problems are Turn around. Turn around. My heart problems don't you do it. We're in the upstairs apartment. Dumbass. She's not cooperating. Why are you? I am. Turn around. No, I'm not. I'm talking. Get off of me. I got one arm, I got one arm, get down. Get off me. 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 Stop! Stop! Hey, Stop! 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 Go home! God damn it! Go home! After being arrested, the girl continued to causing trouble by kicking the car and screaming. The girl was charged with assault and resisting arrest 
and she was sentenced 1095 days probation. Good job. Let's go this way. Oh no, I'm going to be down that way. I'm here. I'm sorry, I'm going. I'm not going to be a month. I'm going to update the thing. What? I'm saying I've been up. When was the last time you smoked meth? I don't know. Why? What's the matter? Because I think you're high on meth. I'm not. I'm irritated because I got no issues in the two brains. I'm not going to be used. I'm not going to get cheated. I'm just going to get lied to. When the video posted on social media, people showed their thoughts as follow. A user named Tystark5658 said, Dude on the bed mastered the art of being so incredibly still that the cops didn't even notice him. Jiffy Jimmy, 268 said, I was thinking, I hope this elderly woman doesn't get injured by the arrest, only to learn she's 37. Crazy how fast meth ages you. The Auk Robot 1997 said, I love how almost immediately the cop realizes the situation and says, I'm probably going to arrest her. Charlie Kamire 62110 shared his thoughts. Imagine calling the police and then refusing to talk to them. But if you think the above Karen is bad, then you're deadly wrong. The next case may shock you even more. Stop. No. Stop. No. Stop. Stop. Police were dispatched to recover a stolen dog. According to the neighbor, she took the dog because her owner was abusive. Here's what happened. How are you going to get the dog for me if I have a hold of the dog? You're going to let go of the dog. Because he's bringing the dog to me. Okay, it's not your dog. And I'm not returning her to an abusive owner. It's not your dog. I went to the owner's house. The owner's house is a nice house. So yeah. why is she tied up outside, getting beat, left out there for hours in the snow, has an ear infection, possibly parvo, because I took her to the vet because she's puking and shitting everywhere. Okay, well, I will check out the dog. Okay, why well, okay. I'm holding it. You mind if we come in and see it? No, I'll bring her out here. You don't need to come in my house. Okay. You mind if I stand in here where it's not raining on top of it? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. You can see right there. Back up, Bell. Go back up. The officer did plan to recover the dog from this woman, because obviously she wasn't her owner. Shortly after, she came out with the dog, as the officer thought she wasn't willing to give the dog back. Come on. Okay. Was this the collar that was originally on it? Nope. Where's that collar at? Uh, in there somewhere in Mall. Can you get that, please? Can you see if we still have the collar? Because I probably yeah. threw it away. Take off, please. You can tell they had her chain on cords. Okay. All right. No, 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 if you take it her, you're taking me. Sir, can you get your wife before she goes to jail? Guys, I'm you're probably going to go to jail on this video. I don't even have her collar. You have her collar, sir. First off, don't touch my phone. Don't touch the phone. Either give me my phone or we won't have an issue. Whoa, 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 Back up. Don't hit me first off. Back up. The scene quickly heated up. She refused to give back the dog and block in front of the police officer. You want to too. No, stop. No. Stop. No. Stop. I'm not going to jail. The officer quickly noticed what the girl was going to do next. Please let, let him go. Let him go. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. No, no, he's going too. He's going. Oh, yeah, I'll go. Stop. Put him on the ground. Right here. Please let his mom get him. Sir, will you please let his mom get him? You can take me. Not a 25, just send one more car. We're secure. Bro, they already freezed him to the ground. Here, here. This is Lee Brutale! Oh, he's just Put on this first. Okay. Go ahead, baby. Go on. Go on. Go on. You got him.
He ran back when he heard her sister screaming and requested for a medical crew without having any injuries. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. It's okay. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. You're okay. Good girl. Come here. Hey. Come here. You're okay. Then the officer cuffed the suspect and took her to the car. After the dog was recovered, the suspect was charged with disorderly conduct and obstructing official business. May I ask why you guys are taking him? Sir, I can walk. Can you stop pulling me? Then please? walk. I am, sir. I have a surgically repaired foot, so I cannot walk her that fast. I apologize. Now, would you like me to call her so she'll come to you? Sit in the car. Would you like me to call her? Sit in the car. Come here, baby. There you go. I got her. Get in the car. How do I get in this car? You sit in the car. I'm trying. side of this van. We're in this room here. You can go in that room straight back there. She was sentenced two days in jail with credit for time served and 25 hours of community services. Wait, wait, ma'am, do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? The cops definitely taught this annoying neighbor a lesson. The couple is explaining the situation to the officer. I described her over the phone, 5'5", five, five, cream sweater and shorts. She pulled into the driveway with a red Mazda, proceeded to back up to recreate an incident that happened over a month ago. There was an accident over a month ago. Do you know this that, person? Um, no, we moved here like about a month and a half ago. This is my friend's day. car. Okay. Um, I was using it to back out so I can go into an interview, and I accidentally hit the car because it's directly behind us. It's also okay. parked out in the road. So you were involved in whatever initial accident yeah. no, this other lady's it, talking he about. Doesn't, he doesn't care for it. We've texted. Yeah, I've called my insurance to make sure that he's reassured, and he is insured for his car. And we've discussed so, it. Is, yeah, she's not insured. I am insured, though. Is this person involved in this, though? So this is her? Is, yeah, she's involved because that happened today. Wait, today? What happened today? This. This lady was driving the red car? Yeah, this lady was driving the red Mazda, which happened with that that I heard. Ma'am, will you wait and talk to me just a moment? Wait over there. The suspect showed up, and just after a few words, she got arrested. Were you... He's uninsured, and so is she. Okay. No, I'm not. I am Ryan told me. Ma'am, did you just, I'm not going to argue, yeah. do you understand? I'm here in charge of this now, okay? So you need to calm down and listen yeah. to what I'm no, telling you. I am. Okay, were you just in a vehicle? No. Was this lady was in she? a vehicle that yeah. just... She has a ring doorbell, you could see her pulling in our driveway. Really? She did back into it or almost backed into it? Almost. I'm not saying that she did. So no! She did she, not hit a vehicle. This, this Hyundai... Okay. Is uninsured, and okay. she literally told Ryan Lee. Let's walk over here. Walk, no. Walk over here. No. Wait, 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 ma'am. Do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? No. Do you understand? No. Put your hands behind your back. Gotcha. No. Keep your hands behind your back. Literally, what is going on? For what? Scam you. Give me traffic. Put your hands behind your back and stay there. What is going on? Hold oh. it. When you push a law enforcement officer, that's what happens. Okay. Step up. Walk over my car. Literally, don't even the way you put your hands on me like. You are being arrested for battery on a law enforcement officer, ma'am. Oh no no no. Yes, ma'am. Can you put your hands on us? Can you unhook from the other side? Yeah. No. Listen, I want you to calm down. 
Yes, you sir. don't do anything silly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is your name? Where do you live at, Sarah? We Virginia Gulf Breeze. You live in Gulf Breeze? Yeah. Where are you With at right grandma. now? With my grandma. Where are you at right now? With my boyfriend. Do you have any pockets on your pants? No, sir. Feel free to check. Have a seat right there. You have an ID in your purse? Yeah, it's in the pocket. Okay. The officer came back and had a recap of the event. This red car. He's in the house. She just calls that damage this morning? The dent on the right, yeah. The one near the fence. The, the one on the door handle was already there? That was a yeah. month ago and that was already resolved. We're going through insurance. Okay, because, the yeah, you backed out of it, so she started throwing a temper tantrum today and pulled up in your driveway yelling at y'all she's going to recreate an accident, something like that? No, so... So I woke up this morning because I heard yelling, uh -huh. and she was pulled in our driveway. So I came out here to see what was going on, and she saw me, started yelling at her boyfriend or whatever, and then pulled out of the driveway, took off down the road, and parked down the road. And then she heard me on the phone with the police and took the car and left the neighborhood. I don't know where the car is now. While she was leaving the driveway, she caused the second dent on the right on the vehicle. Right. Whose vehicle? That vehicle, the, the is it the guy that came out the door momentarily? Yeah, yeah, that, that belongs to him. Yeah. It belongs so it belongs to him. This vehicle belongs to him. Yeah. And she just did this dent here this morning, and that's what y'all were calling about, because yeah, I was calling because she's like going crazy in her driveway. And she was, right. What was she saying when she was going crazy in the oh, driveway? Um, she was talking about how the the other dent happened like a month ago, and that he's freaking out about it and complaining about it when that's a lie because we've already resolved the issue and it's going through insurance. Right, okay. Well, she came up to me and she was yelling at them and I was telling her, listen, I'm here, I'm in charge, you're going to go across the street and I'll come talk to you in a moment. And I just, I didn't touch her, I just went, you're going to go across the street and then that's when she knocked my arm out of the way and hit me with her, her hand. So I'm going to charge her with battery LEO. So do y'all have any idea where the red Mazda is she was driving? I know there's only three streets in this neighborhood. And did she walk back? Yeah, yeah she, she walked, walked back. back. So I'm assuming, and it was rather soon after we... Okay. All right, give me another moment. I'll be right with y'all, okay? What are you doing here? All right. Sorry, guys. No, um, I have to ask first, did either one of y'all see her hit my arm out of the way? Yeah. So no damage to your car. It was like... Was she, like, threatening to hit your car because y'all accidentally hit hers, her boyfriend's? Mm, no. Um, she wasn't clear with her intentions. She yeah. just okay. kind of kept saying, bet, bet, and then I saw her tap the trash can back up and then hit the other car. And then... So her car was pulled in here? Yeah, it was pulled in here, and then she backed out and turned the other way. All right, well, walk over here with me real quick. I'm going to get you taken care of in case you got to go do something. And all you... Then the officer gathers information from people living nearby. Property, and then you can walk away, okay? Sure. Listen to what he has to say. Ma'am, you're not allowed on our property anymore. All right, thank you so very much, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am? What can I do for you? Ma'am, I'm sorry, like, can I just fell? Can you what? May I fall, like, what's going on? May you what? I'm sorry, may I know what's, like, the next step? Oh, I'm going to take you to this Gamby County Jail and charge you for battery on a law enforcement officer. There are laws to protect us. You are not allowed to put your hands on us. And by you striking me and swatting my arm, that... I didn't that... want that you... Yes, ma'am. I got it on, but it's all on video camera, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I know that doesn't count, but I feel like my story deserves to be heard. Yes, ma'am. You'll have your day in court to tell your story. All right. Any other questions for me? All right. Thank you all so much for your time and help, okay? Supervisor came to interview her, and the moment the officer stepped up, she cried. What, what happened with you and my deputy? You did what? You acted out? Yeah, but he was very rough with me, too. And I'm so...
Was he not listening to him? Or was he telling you to do? It was all so pretty. All I know, I, I, as soon as he told me to speak down, I was done. It was like, you can look at, if there's any video, you can see how many times he slapped me against that chair. Can I make it? So over. I don't think I'm playing it for that, no problem. I just want to make sure he's okay. He is. I told you. Is anything else you think you need to tell me you're talking about? I just want to be a part of this situation. I got you. Well, you're, you're probably going to close it. We just can't leave the door open, so we're just going to close it up, okay? Oh, yeah, I got to ask her information. At least she was being cooperative and giving the officer the information. Okay. He, he's going to confirm some stuff. Not right now. How tall are you? what we're doing. Um, five, five and a half. How much do you weigh? So, like, maybe 130 pounds. Hair color, brown? Brown. What color eyes? Blue. Do you mind giving me your social? I don't want to, but I know it. You don't have to. I can't. I just want to see him. Are you employed? Yeah, the same place. We Ryan. Were. Where you work at? Founders Chowder House. And Virginia Tech, too. What's your title at Flounders? Server. And my, my title, if you were going to ask about Virginia Tech, is Graduate Research Assistant. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Miss I need to ask you some questions, but before I do, I have to Mirandize you, okay? Please don't. All right. Don't what? Please don't. Don't what? Don't Miranda, I have to Miranda you. It's the law. Before I ask you a question in reference to those pills that were in your purse, I have to Miranda you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand each of the rights I just explained to you in reference to these pills that I'm fixing to ask you about? Please, because I'm literally prescribed them by my doctor. I know, but I'm fixing that. We're going to talk about I'm that. Sorry, Answer I don't my know what's going on. Answer my questions first. Yes, Do yes, you understand the rights I explained to you? Yes. Sir. Okay. Have you previously requested any law enforcement officer to talk to an attorney? Okay. With these rights in mind, do you want to talk to me about that? Okay. I'm really so silent. There's three pills in there. Okay. There's the ones in the Ziploc bag. Prescription for Yes, sir. Okay. What about the one pill that was in the zipper compartment by itself? It's like a brown gold pill. Is it my... Yep. Yes, I'm prescribed that too. Do you have a prescription for that? Yes, well? sir, and if it's in my zipper, it just is old. Yes, well, it looks, <laughs> it, it looks old, but the problem is is that you don't have the prescription with you, but you have, you have oh, I, I, and I have to determine if I have to charge you criminally for it. Yes, sir. Because people are not allowed to possess prescriptions. Right, no, I'm literally prescribed two a day. Okay. And I believe you, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, sit tight. We'll be going in just a moment. Okay? She was later charged with battery on an officer and resisting arrest without violence. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.